Hey folks, it's Woody here over at USMA Blade and just coming to you from the shop this afternoon to do a quick overview video. This is overdue and there's so many, the whole point of the whole topic of this video should be that it's just all overdue. Uh, so it's the ZT0562 full tie or ZT0562 TI. And so overdue, yeah, this one's overdue as far as we have been asking Zero Tolerance to make this since they came out with the ZT562 carbon fiber. Uh, <laughs> overdue also on our end, as far as we should have done this overview weeks ago, but our first batch that we got in, in of these sold out so darn fast, we couldn't do an overview. And we just recently got in the second batch and I've been a little under the weather the past 10 days or so. So uh, and this is my first chance of getting one done but uh, as far as an overview on it. So let's just kind of point out, um, you know, why is this just so awesome? Uh, probably because the 5.62 CF has been one of our biggest sellers ever uh, of all time. And it, it's the, the tie version is something that a lot of people have asked for. A lot of people love a full tie knife. And <laughs> next is just how damn smooth it is. So a couple of things I wanted to point out, uh, the detent on these, I, I've seen a couple other videos where they talk about it as well, but holy crap, it's got an amazing detent on it, but it's not some finger killer. It doesn't, it's not hard to, to flip open, but yet it flies open very smooth. And listen to this when this detent ball catches here. Do that again for you guys in the cheaper seats. That's incredible. One more time, just because I love the sound of it. Oh, so stunning knife. ZT did a great job on these. And before we switch over, give you guys some comparisons and talk about, let's just uh, give you some quick specs on it. So uh, same exact size as the ZT0562 CF. Uh, let's see here. We got the three and a half inch blade. 0.156 inch is thick on the steel. Beautiful blade on it. Just a great design. Hinder design. 4.8 inches overall length closed. Uh, 8.3 inches in total overall length. From And here's the other amazing part. And I should have gotten the scale out for this, but 5.3 ounces. So they milled out, and we're going to show that in a little bit. They milled out the, the tie scale, and it's actually lighter than the carbon fiber version. And then to boot with everything else, 20 CV steel. So just a fantastic package. A great everyday carry knife from ZT. So let's move over and show you guys between the scales, and then we'll do some comparisons with it. All right, so we're back with you. We got one broken down here. Uh, no worries uh, as far as don't worry about buying this one unless you're buying one of our anodized versions. Uh, this one's actually slated to be anodized dark bronze later. So you'll notice uh, typical on, on your ZTs, we've got your uh, steel lock insert, your puck here. Uh, I saw a video where somebody seemed pretty upset on the way that they polished this down here on the steel lock insert. I, I'm not really sure why. It's behind the scenes. Uh, it helps whatever they've done here helps the knife perform better. So kudos to ZT for taking the time to, to do whatever they did here by hand. But it's it's honest to God, it's not noticeable when the knife's together. Uh, so you'll notice no milling here on the lock side, which there shouldn't be. Uh, so everything's pretty much the same there. It's the carbon fiber version. And then here's where we get all that beautiful milling. So And that's what lightens this puppy up so much. So that'll give you an idea behind the scales, how things are looking there. Um, and then of course we're milled out on this side of the blade for uh, our, our bearing, our cage bearings. And then of course locked out, milled out on this side of the handle. So uh, easy knife to take apart. It's got a, lo a little bit more screws than uh, than some ZTs. So. But it's, it's not a hard knife to take apart and put back together, really, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just make sure that you're, you're using something uh, soft to, to clamp on these uh, spacers when you're um, 
when you're taking it apart so you don't tear those up. But uh, let's come back and show you guys some comparisons with some other uh, knives and, and then we'll finish this video up. All right, so we're back and we're just gonna kind of run through these here. Uh, gotta start off, just at least put one in here, show you guys that it's the exact same overall length, all that stuff uh, as the carbon fiber version. So uh, just get that, that one in there. Uh, show another hinderer design here with the ZT393. And pretty darn close to the same overall length, everything else on that same blade length. Uh, just a, a little different design with the handle and, and blade width, I guess you could say. Also want to show in while we're showing off some ZTs, the ZT0095. Um, this is the black wash version. And these have picked up in popularity lately. We've had a lot of requests for them, a lot of sales with them. And as you can see, I mean, they're, they're about the same overall length. You're gonna get a little bit lighter when you're looking at that full tie on the 95. Ooh, lose my voice. Let's see if we can make it through this. Uh, also new towards the end of this uh, 2018, the ZTO 640. Definitely wanna throw one of those in there been very popular uh, very polarizing knife either you like that green carbon fiber or you don't so let's uh, change directions something we don't have any of these in stock right now but I felt like we really needed to do a comparison so I'm throwing one in this is this is my own personal uh, this is with the hinder XM 18 three and a half uh, mine happens to be a full tie and this is the sheep's foot version but I mean this is the knife this is the knife that this knife was designed after so it, it, you know they're pretty much very very similar in in a ton of aspects it's just it, you're obviously going to pay more for the hinder uh i would say the 562 tie is as close as you're ever going to get to a hinder without actually buying a hinder so uh that's that's one of the things that they did that really is impressive uh we're a big southern grind dealer and we have a lot of customers with southern grinds so wanted to throw in a bad monkey. Get these two out of the way back here. And bad monkey's a little bit overall length, uh, definitely a little bit longer overall length. So, um, but both great knives. We always like to throw in some Benchmade. So uh, one of the most popular knives in the world is the Benchmade full size Griptilian. And just throwing this in there to give some of you Benchmade, Benchmade guys a an idea of the size of the 562 in case you don't have a store near you. Uh, so we're also big Koenig dealers and uh, we just got in some new Koenig areas so I definitely wanted to get one of those thrown in there. Uh, Koenigs are closer to a custom more of a mid-tech knife but uh, you know the full tie version I thought we'd show off definitely a much uh, wider blade there's there's definitely some differences but as far as production on on a ZT getting close to the smooth as, as the Koenig, this is about as close as it gets. So, uh, oh, I left out a Benchmade, gotta throw in. These have been very popular lately, the Mini Crooked River. And just to give some of you guys, Benchmade guys an idea. And then I'm gonna finish up. So that's that's all the knives we have to, to kind of compare this to. I'm hoping it helps you out some. But I wanted to finish up one of the other things, one of the one of the big reasons we love this knife is because of this just beautiful titanium surface that we have to work with for anodizing. So as you saw earlier, we've already got one taken apart for anodizing, but we've done quite a bit of anodizing. I just want to show a little bit of it off. Uh, so I'm gonna get this out of the way. And I always gotta show off our stars and stripes. Uh, we've we've noted on our site that if you want we the people on the blade we're happy to do that for you but we are going to sell these without we the people on there and there's no extra charge for putting it on there if you'd like it uh, so that's the bronze stars and stripes we've also done it in blue uh, the stars and stripes versions on all our knives have been very popular this has a little oil residue on it but i promise you it's it's fine just needs to be cleaned up a little bit and these these always turn out really pretty it's a great way to, to add to that surface area there and, and put some color in it. Uh, we don't have any dark bronze to show you, but this is our bronze Anamascus. And it turned out really stunning. 
Just a beautiful canvas to do so many cool things with. So we've just begun to, to get started with these. And then last one is the green and blue in Damascus. This is a beautiful finish as well. And just turned out really cool. So if you have specific requests, if you just want a standard blue or a bronze or purple or green or anything, let us know. We'll do everything we can to help you out. Uh, all these ZTs and all the knives you've seen are all available on our site at usmablade.com. And uh, if you have any questions specifically for me, put it in the comments below. Or you can email me at scott at usmadeblade.com. That's Scott with two Ts. And uh, like I said, everything here is available at usmadeblade.com. And we appreciate you watching.